This video is sponsored by Chicago Steak Company. Steak University is dedicated to teaching you how to cook the ultimate steak experience. Hi, I'm Chef Philippe, corporate chef for Chicago Steak Company, and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're looking at the flavorful USDA prime ribeye steak. First, I want to talk a little bit about the steak and then we will dive into step-by-step -step cooking instruction so you can make the perfect ribeye. The ribeye is the most marbled steak out there. Marbling is a term that we use to describe the fat flax that run throughout the interior of the steaks. The more marbling a steak has, the better its flavor. And as you can see, these ribeyes have quite a bit of it, so I'm sure it's going to taste incredible. If you look here, you will see the flavor kernel. This fat is going to melt into the steak as it cooks and impart an absolutely incredible flavor that is unique to a ribeye steak. So let's take a look at our ribeye. This is a USDA prime ribeye, which means it comes from the top 2% of beef in the US. Now, we also offer an upper one-third USDA choice line of steaks, which are steaks that just miss the USDA prime grade, but don't have the ticket price associated with USDA prime. But today, we are going to be cooking a USDA prime wet-aged steak. Now you might be asking, what is wet-aged steak? That is a great question. And I encourage you to watch our distinction video where I talk about that in more details. But in short, aging is a process that makes a steak more flavorful, juicy, and delicious. There are two methods of aging, wet aging and dry aging, and we offer both. But today we are going to be cooking a USDA prime ribeye that has been wet aged for six weeks. So here we are. As you received our steaks yesterday, they came into you frozen as described on our website upon your ordering. So what we want to make sure is we want to make sure that we place these steaks in a refrigerator to give them an opportunity to thaw out completely for 24 hours. So what we want to do now is we want to make sure we take them out of the refrigerator, give them 30 minutes to bloom, which means that they will be at room temperature so that it is going to give them an even cooking process. Look how beautiful these steaks are. I, I have to pick one up and just to show you this, that the marbling in these USDA prime wet age ribeye I, is just incredible. It's breathless almost. You see the marbling in here, the fat kernel, all this is flavor and it will absolutely melt in your mouth. And that, my friends, is the ultimate steak experience. So as always, we wanna make sure that we use Chicago steak seasoning to give your USDA prime ribeye the perfect flavor profile and make sure that we generously season them on both sides five minutes prior to cooking the grill so that the flavor is absorbed by the steak and will not dry out the steak. So let's be generous on these beautiful ribeye steaks. You can press on them. It's not going to hurt it. Make sure we flip to the other side. There we go, and let's let them sit for five minutes. So as always, while we have placed the seasoning on our steaks, let's pre-oil our grill just to make sure that none of them will stick and make sure that they will come off beautifully. So again, just slightly brush a little bit of vegetable oil on top of it. It will be very quick. The flame will dissipate in a second and you'll be ready at that point to cook your steaks. So here we are, five minutes later, our grill has been pre-oiled and what we are going to do is we are going to put this one inch stick, USDA prime ribeye steak on the grill, sear them on both sides for about a minute and finish them in a 450 degree preheated oven for another six minutes, five, six minutes to make sure that you have a perfectly cooked medium steak. So let's put them on the grill. And also, don't forget to check out our website to look for more of cooking instruction and temperature chart that will help you make sure that your steak is cooked perfectly every time.
So it's been a minute, so let's flip our steaks. Uh, you can just hear the sizzle and the crispiness of the crust right here. So steaks are ready. Let's take them off the grill and place them in the oven. And again, kids, these are some incredible wet age prime ribeye from Chicago Steak Company in the oven for about five minutes and we'll be ready to eat them at that point. Absolutely perfect. As always, once you pull your steaks out of the oven, make sure you let them sit for five minutes at least, just to give them enough time to absorb all the juices so you don't lose any of this incredible flavor and juiciness. So these steaks have been rested for five minutes, so let's cut them up and let's jump into that. Look at the juices coming out of here. Let's slice it up. Look at the juiciness coming out of these steaks and the marbling right here, the kernel. Absolutely incredible. So this little piece is for the chef, so let me see what it's all about. Mmm. Melts in your mouth. Absolutely incredible. You will love these USDA Prime ribeye steaks. Just wait. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and stay tuned for more of the ultimate steak experience right here on Steak University TV. Subscribe to our newsletter to receive cooking tips and exclusive offers only from Chicago Steak Company.